Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your computer seems to be running low on memory. This tutorial was performed on a Windows 7 computer, but just about all the steps I'm going to be showing in this video are transferable and compatible with the newer versions of the Windows operating system as well. So basically, we're going to be using virtual memory for this tutorial about how to hopefully be able to speed up your computer a little bit by utilizing some of your paging file space in order to enhance and speed up your computer a bit. This is generally not recommended if you have more than 4 gigabytes of RAM installed because at that point there might not really necessarily be that much of a savings in terms of memory. This is really for people that have really slow computers but there really is not any harm in it because you can very easily reverse what we are going to show in this video. So there's really no harm in performing any of the actions I'm going to go through. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the star menu. And you want to type in system. One of the best matches should say system. And in my case, it's underneath control panel. So I'm just going to left click on that one time. And you can also see the amount of installed memory right here as well. So I only have one gigabyte of RAM, so definitely if you're only running on one or two gigs, this could definitely benefit you. And on the left side here, I recommend left clicking on advanced system settings. Now that you've done that, we want to left click on the settings button underneath performance, visual effects, processor, scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory. Now that you've done that, we want to navigate over to the advanced tab up here, and then underneath virtual memory, Paging file is an area on the hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM. Left click on this change button right here. So if this box is already checked where it says automatically manage paging file size for all drives, you want to uncheck it. And you want to select custom size in here. Keep in mind this is in megabytes. So for the initial size, I'd recommend keeping it what's currently recommended down here, which is 1534 megabytes. So 1534. And your number will likely be different in your case, but in my case it's 1534. Now for the maximum size, a general rule of thumb is to go back over to the system window here and see how much RAM you have. So let me open up a calculator on here. So there's 1024 megabytes in a gigabyte. And it's a good rule of thumb to multiply this by 1.5. So there's really no science behind it. I mean, some people will say a little bit more, some will say less. I'm just gonna say 1.5. So we get 1536 here. So I open back up the screen. We can see the maximum size. We can just input 1536. And there's a slight difference between the initial size and maximum size here, which is fine. And then you wanna left click on the set button right here. And now you wanna left click on okay. This is the changes you made will require you to restart your computer before they can take effect. Left click on OK again. Click on Apply and OK to close out of that window and OK to get out of that one as well. Keep in mind you are going to have to restart your computer, which I'd recommend you do now. And hopefully that should speed up your computer a little bit. And I would also recommend if you have any programs on your computer, so if we open up the Task Manager by going down to our taskbar here, right clicking on it, and then left clicking on Start Task Manager, and we go underneath Processes, and left click on show processes for all users. And if we expand the description tab here, you can see what programs are using a lot of memory on our computer. So if there's any third party applications, like there probably will not be too many in my case, but if you have a lot of games or applications that run in your computer, you might be able to see how much memory they're taking up. And I would recommend considering turning them off or uninstalling them altogether if you don't use them. The most of the ones you see on my screen right here are Windows services or processes that need to run. So I really can't play around with these too much, but just something to keep in the back of your head. It can definitely free up memory as well. And I would recommend, like I said, restart your computer after performing the steps in this video, and you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.